well, I guess in layman's terms, sudden cardiac arrest is your, your heart stops beating and you're technically dead. The person um, would be unconscious, they would be not breathing. People can have no symptoms. That's why it's such a difficult thing to predict and uh, you have to be ready for it. Sudden cardiac arrest can affect anyone, any time, any place and any age. On the 8th of September 2019, I had a sudden cardiac arrest. Never really struggled with anything to do with my health. Joe, my best mate, he was fit and healthy young boy. No symptoms, no signs. So it came as a bit of a shock when I had a cardiac arrest because no one really knew anything about it and it just, just happened. He went out um, that evening for a training run. And then the world changed for us all and we got a knock on the door. And I had a phone call from my mum. Saskia's down. She's just gone off in the ambulance. Or they're given a CPR. Eventually, somebody had started CPR. Oh, they're bringing over a defibrillator now. Make sure they use it. Make sure they use it. Um, but then it was a frantic chase to the, with the outlook. I was very shocked that it happened to me. I didn't expect it to happen because I, I, you don't really hear stories of young children suffering from these cardiac arrests. And then a team come in and break it to you. That you hadn't survived. No symptoms, no signs. Did not see this coming. Not one bit. There's an opportunity here to make that difference. We want everybody to enjoy the sport, but we want everybody to do so in the safest possible environment. We all have a responsibility for that. What are you going to do? You can't put your head in the sand. We have to be aware of it, prepared for it. If it happens, you can do your very best because the alternative is unthinkable. Heart emergencies, sudden cardiac arrest, come with no warning. Are we prepared? We have to be. Don't be caught out. Every second counts. You can make a difference. And you can save a life.